For many people, owning a million dollar investment portfolio seems like an impossible dream. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do it by investing just $200 a month. And watch until the very end because here I'll show you how much you'll be collecting in monthly dividends once you reach that million dollar portfolio goal. And at the very end, I'm going to share an extra ETF with you that actually will help you to do it faster than you ever thought possible. Now before I show you exactly how you'll reach your goal of having a $1 million portfolio and the income that it will pay you, let me briefly show you the details of the first ETF we're going to use to help you get there. Here you see the dividend ETF we're going to use. It's SCHD, which is the Swab US Dividend ETF. Notice that it's currently trading for $76.91 per share. It has a very low expense ratio of only 0.06%. And it pays this dividend every quarter. Currently, SCHD is paying out 3.33% on a yearly basis. Here we see that SCHD invests in publicly traded companies in the US and invests in a wide assortment of sectors, including energy and materials. But one sector we notice that's missing here is real estate. However, SCHD invests in growth and value stocks across a nice mix of different sizes of companies but it focuses on dividend paying companies that pay high dividend yields and have a record of consistently paying those dividends. The companies are screened for fundamental strength against their peers and based on their own financial ratios. Let me explain why I picked SCHD as our first potential million dollar portfolio ETF. As you can see, over the past 10 years, SCHD has beaten the S&P 500 in total return. During that time, we see that SCHD's return is 242% whereas the S&P 500's return is 222%. So SCHD has beaten the S&P 500 by 20% over the past 10 years. Now looking at the chart of their total returns, which includes dividends, over the past 10 years, we see that the two ETFs were pretty close. At times, SPY would be higher than SCHD or vice versa. But over the past year, during the bear market of 2022, SCHD really pulled ahead of the S&P 500. Here we see the breakdown by sector of SCHD. Notice that financials make up just over 21%, technology 16%, and so on. Now looking at the top 10 holdings, we see they include Broadcom, Verizon, Cisco, Texas Instruments, Home Depot, Merck, Lockheed Martin, Pepsi, BlackRock, and Coca-Cola. In all, SCHD has 103 holdings. These top 10 holdings make up 40% of SCHD. So you really want to make sure that you're comfortable with these top positions because they make up a high percentage of this overall ETF. Now we get to the reason why I picked SCHD as our first million dollar portfolio ETF, and that's its dividends. Here you see the dividend growth history of SCHD over the past 10 years. Notice that 10 years ago, its dividend was 90 cents per share, and every year that dividend has gone up. So last year in 2022, its dividend had increased to $2.56 per share per year. Let's take a look at the dividend growth because this is the main reason why I picked this ETF. Notice that in 2013, the dividend grew by 11%. In 2014, it grew by 15%. In the next several years, it grew by about 9%. Then starting in 2017, it slowed its dividend growth to 6%. However, dividend growth has been quite a bit higher over the past four years ranging from 10% up to 19% in 2019. Last year in 2022, it grew its dividend by 13.9%. Now this dividend growth, it excites dividend investors. And over the past 10 years, SCHD has on average grown its dividend by 12.2%. So going back to the title of our video, how much will you need to invest in SCHD in order to reach a $1 million portfolio and how long will it take? Well, here's the plan of how to do that. We'll start with $200 and run our investment calculator out 40 years to make sure that we reach our goal. We'll assume that the total return is going to be 12% and we'll agree to pay in $200 a month into this portfolio. So how long will it take us to reach our $1 million portfolio goal? Here you see that at the end of year one, our portfolio will be worth $2,600. But by adding $200 every month, after 33 years, the value of our portfolio will reach the $1 million mark and will be worth $1,029,000. So if we just take $200 a month for 33 years and buy SCHD, if it returns an average of 12% a year, we'll be able to hit our $1 million portfolio goal. The question is, how much income would this portfolio pay us? Here's our example portfolio of SCHD. To get a $1 million portfolio in today's dollars, we'd have to own 13,000 
380 shares of SCHD. If we own that number of shares, we'd be collecting $34,000 a year in dividends. Now keep in mind this ETF, it has a history of growing its dividends quickly. So that $34,000 in dividends, even if we quit contributing to this portfolio, our yearly income should continue to grow every year. But what if we weren't that concerned with dividends right now? Let's say you're mainly focused on growth. Is there a better ETF that most likely will help you reach your million dollar portfolio goal faster? Now let's compare SCHD to Triple Q, ticker symbol QQQ. Here we see that Triple Q's expense ratio is a bit higher than SCHD's because it's 0.2%. But what does QQQ invest in? Triple Q invests in public companies that operate in energy, real estate, consumer discretionary, staples, healthcare, information technology, and utility. And that's just to name a few of them. And invest in growth and value stocks of large cap companies in those sectors. How does Triple Q stack up against the ever popular SCHD ETF? When we look at the 10 year total return of these two ETFs, Triple Q actually beats SCHD by quite a bit. In fact, it beat it by around 150% over that 10 year period. By the way, if you'd like to get the information that we've been sharing in this video about SCHD and Triple Q, all this information has come directly from Seeking Alpha. And they have agreed to give my viewers a special discount. So if you'd like to check them out, my discounted affiliate link is down in the description below. But there are a couple other key characteristics you want to consider about SCHD versus Triple Q before you dive head first into Triple Q. Remember that the Sharpe Ratio measures the performance of an investment by considering its risk. The higher the Sharpe Ratio, the better the investment is in terms of risk-adjusted returns or you being compensated for your risk. Notice here that the Sharpe Ratio of SCHD is only 0.1, whereas the Sharpe Ratio of Triple Q is quite a bit worse at negative 0.47. Then remember that the standard deviation, it measures the amount of volatility in an investment. The smaller the standard deviation, that means it's more consistent in its returns. So in short, we'd like a standard deviation to be as low as possible because it means that your returns are more consistent or you won't experience as many dramatic highs and dramatic lows. Notice that the standard deviation of SCHD is quite a bit lower at only 18% as compared to triple Q's at 31%. So when you're considering these two ETFs, if you're somewhat risk averse, just know that triple Q, it tends to be a little more volatile than SCHD. But the question is, how much will we have to invest in triple Q and for how long in order to reach our $1 million portfolio goal? You see that on average over the past 10 years, triple Q has returned 17.18%. Now that's a fairly high return. Now we've reset our investment calculator so that we're still doing $200 upfront and then for 28 years, we're going to run a return of 15%. We're going to say that we're still going to put in a monthly contribution of $200. If Triple Q can give us an average total return of 15% for that 28 year period, as you see here, at the end of the 28th year, our portfolio should be worth right around $1,049,000. If we were looking to generate as much income as possible at that point, we could always sell our Triple Q portfolio and buy one of the many other high dividend paying ETFs like SCHD or one of the other more aggressive income ETFs. However, in my 20 plus years of trading stocks and options, I found an even better way to consistently beat the market. By trading in options like we do, it's very possible you can realize your investment goals a lot sooner than the timeframes I showed in this video. If you'd like to get an alert as soon as we buy stocks and sell options, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see my absolute favorite strategies that I encourage traders and investors to consider in order to retire early, check out the video series at the link above in the description below entitled, How to Retire Early. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.